Hello and welcome to the third installment of uh, my black and white challenge. Here I am in Photoshop. Um, this is, let's see here. It's probably not what I want to, I want to do about Photoshop. So this is Photoshop CS5 extended. And uh, I don't need this right now. All right, that was, all right. So. I have the um, Nick collection installed, and let's go to Silver FX Pro 2. So it's loading up the image. Interesting. So it's already given me a black and white image. So while I've never um, used this particular program before, um, I did take a look at um, the various uh, YouTube videos, tutorial videos. And um, in general, it looks like uh, if you already know how to do stuff in Photoshop and GIMP and Raw Therapy, it should be pretty self-explanatory. <coughs> So what I'm going to do is start off taking a look at the preset library because um, they said that uh, it's often a really, really good starting point. And you can always tweak from there. Uh, so these have pretty interesting um, names. Uh, so... Let's see. So I do like high contrast. So let's start with high contrast. Okay, that's definitely not a, not very good at all. This one is not something I like either. High structure, no. So uh, high structure basically is kind of like uh, messing with the clarity slider in Lightroom. High structure, okay. High key could be neat for certain types of shots. Not this particular one. Another high key. Loki. No. No Loki. What about Thor? Ha ha ha. That's not a funny joke. Uh, push process. Mm, let's see. Compare. Um, no. Alright. Push process. No. Grad. Grad. Full dynamic range. Harsh. Those guys like have a harsh and smooth setting. Spectrum, not very nice. Fine art, no. Trist, Trist, wet rocks. Full contrast, nope. Silhouette, dark sepia, soft sepia. Cool tones, cool tones too. Uh, and this one also gives it kind of a border. I don't know if I'm a fan of the border thing. Film noir. Film noir is interesting. Uh, not what I want for this particular one, but it's interesting. Film noir 2, definitely not good. Film noir 3, yellowed. Uh, interesting. So if you look here on the edge, see this is a nice fine edge. Now look what happens when I go to yellowed. It's kind of like broken, you know, like an old photo. Um, this one of all the sepias is not too bad antique plates so those are supposed to be silver plates this one looks like photos i've seen of my old ancestors and danielle's ancestors it's not a bad look by itself but this is not about creating an ancestor image this is about creating a black and white image let me go to pinhole yeah okay so none of these presets gives me what i want which I'm surprised, but this is also a tough photo. All right, so we have global adjustments here, and we can set control points here. Control points would be, let's only modify this section or that section. Um, let's see, film types, we've got neutral. Ooh, it'd be interesting to compare this versus the, um, 
versus the example that we get from the head held cluts on raw therapy. So if I did over delta 400, how would that compare to the other one? It looks relatively similar. Let me, and we also have green sensitivity, levels and curves, finishing adjustments. Let's take a look at this really quickly. Toning, vignetting, burn edges, image borders, which is how they got these effects towards the bottom over there. And loop and histogram. I'm not sure. Oh, I think this is for... Um, it's funny, I just saw a video about this today from the Nerd Writer. So this is, if you want to use Ansel Adams' zone, uh, what is it called, system? This is to make sure you have tones in every zone. Interesting. Um, yeah, okay. So that's kind of cool. Uh, right, so let me start off by saving off this Ilford Delta because I'd like to um, compare and see how their film simulation compares to the film simulation uh, in raw therapy. So this creates a um, extra layer up here, which also, if you wanted to, say, lower the opacity, you could have a colorized photo which is kind of similar to what you could do in raw therapy, which is kind of neat, actually. So let me start off by saving this. Um, and we will we'll pick JPEG. And this will be, this will be silver effects on Ilford. Delta 400, which I'm pretty sure is the one I picked. In fact, I can do a really quick check while this is saving. Over on my Linux computer. And go to the correct folder. And let's see, where's my JPEG here? This one says... I know this is great. Uh, let's see. Ilford, yep, Ilford Delta 400, okay. So we can always compare that later. All right, let's go back to the background. Let's turn this off. Let's go back into Silver FX Pro. Bloop. Bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, very cool. So we're back to neutral. Here we go. All right, so let's take a look here. Brightness. Okay, just going from one end to the other just to get a feel for what each of these sliders does. Can I type in? Let's see, contrast. Very contrasty, not very contrasty. Ah, look at these extra sliders we have here. Interesting. Very cool. Structure. Again, this makes this is like uh, playing with the... Uh, I do like how it leaves this thing to show how far you've strayed. Um, so that's like playing with clarity in Photoshop. Tone protection. All right. And color filters, red filter. I think I ended up going with a red filter in the other one, right? Uh kind of soften things. Yeah, we could put a red filter on. Alright, let's see here. So let's lower the blackness a little bit. I mean, yeah, the brightness. Okay. Let's increase the contrast a little. Okay, let's stop there. Amplify the blacks. Okay. Um, let's increase the structure because it seems like she's gone a bit, let me see, spaces to zoom. Whoa, that's really zoomed in. Um, seems like, well, it's not as bad when you go here, but I think we can do a little more structure. Maybe there. So let's see, compare. Compare. 
side by side. Okay. Well, very different. Look at that. All right, let's zoom out. Okay. We definitely have a better image than we started with. All right. Let's see here. What was in here? I forgot. Ah, toning, vignetting. All right. So let's say let's add a control point for here let's lower the brightness uh, let's see I think out and here out and drag there we go kind of kind of get rid of that gross brightness there although um, it kind of doesn't matter because I'm end up cropping anyways so let's get rid of the preview don't need that at the moment um, there we go, don't need that either. Yuck. All right. So, let's see. Let's zoom in again. Let's go maybe 50. There we go. That's a pretty, pretty beautiful image there. Um,. Let's see, how do I, I guess I need to use this, okay. There is a lot of clarity to this image, that's for sure. All right, let me zoom out. Is it what I want? Let's see. Have we lost too much in the hair? I, I guess a little, but Let's see, let's try a control point on the hair. Let's try increasing, whoa, 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 way too much. All right. All right, let's see. All right, that's a little better. Um, this is a, this is a nice black and white image. Let's see, it's clear. Uh, it's not as, where is it? Let me see. Uh, if I come over here, no, okay. I would say we're in a good place. I, I think, I think we've done, we've done well with this image. I think it's a good, a good image. I think, uh, it's not, uh, it's not too grainy. Although, let's play with that for a minute. Do we go hard grain? That seems to have not done anything. Soft grain? Also not seem, seems to have not done anything. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. Let's zoom out. Oh, this is film types, but all right, let's see if I go like here, here. Just darken it up just a little bit. Okay. Make sure I'm still happy with what we got. Okay. I think... I think this is pretty good. Um, surprised I didn't end up liking any of the presets, but if I had a more normal uh, image to start with. If I hadn't started with such a contrasty image, perhaps some of those would have worked a little better. Doopy doopy doo. All right. So now, I'm gonna turn back on the one I did. With, this was the. This one here is the Ilford Delta. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Okay, so this and this one is um, Silver FX uh, Custom. All right, so I'm going to turn this off. On, off. So the Ilford Delta is definitely grainier, which, again, as we spoke in the previous videos, that's a matter of taste. Um, sometimes grain can be really good for a black and white. Sometimes it's not what you want. If I zoom out here. 
Um, the other nice thing is we were able to really retain a lot more of her shirt in the one that I did custom vice deal for Delta. It's really, to me, to what I want, it's really a better image. Although, like I said, there's there's reasons to want to emulate film and and the um what's the best way to say this the uh the uh you know it's it's it, it film has its its things that are not quite as good all right let me do a save as as oops <clears throat> save as a pdf i mean a psd photoshop file all right change this to black and white all right, that's going to just take out a second there. <clears throat> it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought it would, but apparently it's... Uh, it's a half a gig image. Uh, so while this is saving, um, <coughs> since this is on a different computer than the other um, images I was looking at, and I want to compare them all under the same circumstances that we did before, what I'm going to do is um, end this video. Yeah, well, first I'm going to crop this image because I like the crop that I had before. Um, although, you know, thanks to the control points, and again, I could have done this in, in GIMP if I wanted to spend more time. You don't have to do the crop because um, we've kind of eliminated the uh, the specular highlights that we had there in the, uh, in, in, in the background that were very distracting. But I just want to like for like shots for comparison purposes. So <clears throat> I'm going to crop. And then I'm going to um, save both an uncropped and cropped image. And there'll be one final video where we kind of compare everything all side by side. And then I think what I'd like to do is make a, a little bit of a series of round two, if you will, in which I choose something that's a little more of a conventional black and white uh, image, or at least something where I didn't shoot it with so much contrast to begin with. And again, go through these different methods and see if we end up with the same winner as we do this time. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.